customers. If this show is good, please leave an Apple podcast for my mama. Uh, 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 Hey, hey, friends. I hope you're all doing well today. Now, if that doesn't just bless your heart, I don't know what will. Okay, maybe it's just me. I know that's my grandchild, but hey, we, uh, we all get a blessing from our grandchildren. You guys just got a sneak peek into my life. Hey, friends. Today, we're going to talk about 12 steps a business should focus on to achieve sustainable growth. So let's review a few critical steps every business should focus on if they are to achieve sustainable growth. This achievement requires a strategic and disciplined approach to attain consistent, realistic, actionable processes. This is important, folks. So you're going to want to begin by setting clear objectives. Your goals established should be SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These goals or objectives should be in alignment with your overall business plan or your strategy and your business vision. Along with clear goals or objectives being in place, you're going to want to ensure you have a solid market research in place. Do you really understand your market, who you're targeting, what your customers are needing, what opportunities and threats are present within your market or niche? Do you have a solid understanding of the industry trends and your competitor activities, as well as your ability to be competitive? It's really important that you understand what your competition is doing. I know we speak of this often, but it's important that we recognize how absolutely critical our customers are to business success. Obviously, customer focus is a critical pivot here. We must prioritize customer satisfaction and customer feedback in addition to refining our products or services to our customers' needs. Here's a hint. This is something many of your competitors are potentially missing, so you want to be the one really focusing on your customers' needs. That way you stand out above the crowd. Develop a strong team with efficient processes being implemented within your business. Hire talent in alignment with your company's values. Provide ongoing training and development opportunities while fostering a collaborative and innovative work environment. You're going to want to implement technologies and tools to automate repetitive tasks where you can and then streamline those processes and systems to maximize your efficiency capabilities. It's really important that you schedule a consistent review of your workflows to ensure that optimizing to the greatest productivity potential is being achieved, and then a solid financial management strategy for long-term and short-term goals is very important as well. So while you're doing that, you're going to want to monitor and manage your cash flow uh, so that it doesn't get out of hand in the process. Make initiative investments that offer a positive return on your investment. You're going to want to focus, foster a culture of innovation and adaptability being creative and adapting quickly to market environment changes, as well as remaining updated on industry trends and emerging technologies. These are all important things. And then um, during your networking efforts, want to make sure that you develop a strong strategic partnership. Uh, when identifying and selecting your strategic partners, you want to make sure that you identify someone who's uh, who that the owner and the business complement your strengths and weaknesses. And uh, these partnerships should be mutually beneficial for both parties. Of course, that's the very definition of partnership. But uh, sometimes people miss the boat on that one. Uh, you're going to want to expand your reach and capabilities through leveraging collaborations. While utilizing digital marketing efforts for effective outreach, build and nurture a strong brand presence through your marketing and branding strategies. Develop a data-driven decision-making process. So by collecting and analyzing relevant data uh, to allow for confident decision-making, you can implement key process indicators to measure success and then regularly review and adjust strategies based on this performance data review. You're going to want to develop a proactive approach to risk management assessment, identify the potential risk, and prepare mitigation plans. Have the ability to pivot when needed to adapt your strategies in response to unforeseen challenges. Perform consistently regular performance reviews against your objectives. 
Um, sometimes people forget to do this part, but it's really important that you keep a good focus on what's going on. You'll want to solicit feedback from your employees, your customers, and your stakeholders if, you're, if there's more than uh, multiple people involved in the business. Uh, your insights gained to make informed strategic decisions and adjustments are, are going to be uh, significant by taking that type of approach. You're going to want to develop a scalable infrastructure that can accommodate growth and then invest in technology and systems that can grow with the business. Plan for growth capacity in key areas like production, distribution, customer service. And then prepare time on your calendar to review and refine processes. Encourage employees to suggest and implement improvements. And then basically develop a culture of continuous improvement within your business. And that's going to make your business much stronger by doing that. And the most important thing with any decision that you make within your business is to seek God's guidance. Have a great day, my friends, and go get you that glass of iced tea. I hope this uh, show blesses you in some way today. And um, have a wonderful day and enjoy your iced tea. If this show is good, please leave an Apple podcast for my mama.